good morning dear students welcome in social science class dear students we have start uh, completed two chapters of social science the first one importance of family and the second one is human migration now we will forward to third chapter variation in shelters that is quite important chapter that how the ch houses the pattern of houses are differ in various areas with the landforms or the climatic conditions and how it was in earlier so let us start look at the pictures of bheem bedka rocks shelters of madhya pradesh wait for some time okay look at the pictures of bheem bedka rock shelters of madhya pradesh these are the very famous rock shelters look at here these are the uh caves very famous in bheem bedka which is situated in madhya pradesh <clears throat> the they are the ancient stone age rock shelters with paintings these are the rock shelters or we can say that the caves with paintings are also uh, depicted over there these permanent settlements are over 9000 years old these are the permanent settlements where the people will live somewhere very old years and it is around 9000 years old they are 700 in number number of caves are there settlements are there and the uh, uh, ratio is around 700 in number and have around 400 paintings over there which is carved which was carved very nicely they give us a lot of information about the life tools and implements of the early men what kind of tools they were using the early man how they were using their life styles their tools which they were use all the things were depicted on the walls the discovery of these caves has linked us to the prehistoric man as in it amazing prehistoric man that was your early man now next topic we have history of houses the early caves we can say that the caves were the earliest forms of shelters for man people were living uh, in caves when the early man gave up hunting and food gathering he became a food producer yes it was because earlier the man for the early man he was a hunter food gatherer he was searching food here and there in different places but later on the after the development he became a food producer and started agriculture this was the beginning of agriculture it brought a great change in his life and the type of dwellings dwellings means the habitation the settlements the houses he was uh, started preparing for living in a one place instead of caves now he started living a settled life close to the water bodies as he needed water for his crops and other domestic activities because earlier he was uh, roaming here and there and living a life of nomads but later on when he started doing cultivation he was started living near the water bodies in a one place to look after their agriculture the crops from the wild animals he started building huts with branches and leaves of trees initially later on the early man discovered the walls that the walls of the huts could be made with mud these all things you have learned in the third standard how the people were an early man living in nearby the water bodies and started slowly and gradually their huts these types of huts are still found in villages we have come a long way from the times when huts were the only types of shelters today we have different types of sizes and designs of houses in different parts of india yes we can see there and this regional variation in houses arises from different uh, locations on the basis of landforms landforms means different types of patterns just like somewhere we have mountains hills plains plateaus coastal regions deserts islands the houses are also based according to those areas the climatic very hot or cold region the houses are made, uh, built or constructed on the basis of that materials available whether the 
market is there properly or not for a building a house and it costs money that one wants to spend on land as well as on construction so these are the specific requirements for the construction of houses which people required so this much we will do today the history of houses or shelters and the introduction of the chapter rest types of shelters on the basis of landforms we will continue in the next video so till then thank you watch the video and understand this thank you